This is my Sony F5. It's an incredible super 35mm professional camera. And here comes my Peak Design Everyday Backpack. What is pretty logical is that the Sony F5 will never fit inside the Peak Design Backpack. Also, the camera is way too heavy for my lightweight Novoflex Manfrotto tripod hat combo that I love to use on very mobile shoots. So I was looking for a lightweight solution and I found it the super 16 millimeter fixed lens 10 times zoom Canon X-C10 was the perfect solution for my needs. Once upon a time, precisely back in 2015, Canon released one of the worst single sensor cameras of all time, the X-C10. I personally never thought it was any bad. Actually, I used it on many, many productions. Well, it might be true that the X-C10 has certain limitations due to the fixed lens with ramping aperture and a super 16 sensor which isn't as light sensitive as a larger sensor. Um, I think those are all limitations that I can work around. Unfortunately, I can't work around the fact that many of the cameras that I've tested in that segment deliver just a horrible image, especially in HD and they also don't have the pristine autofocus and focus pull qualities of the X-C10. It also features separate in-body and powered lens stabilization modes, maybe not as advanced as the recent competition, but then again, you're not in for any unexpected surprise moves of your camera. You can just take it into the palm of your hand, switch on autofocus and start vlogging. Some people say that the X-C10 is no good for vlogging. It doesn't make that much of a bad impression on me. Also, the 720p 100-120 frames per second slow motion mode doesn't make too much of a bad impression on me. And the Canon X-C10 offers way more. The back display is a touch screen, which means you can even navigate through the relatively simple menu by touching in case you don't want to use the joystick. Changing media or changing the battery is super simple in comparison to most other mirrorless cameras out there on the market. As you can see, the media bay with its CF and the SD card slot is easily accessible from the back. And so is the battery compartment. You don't have to unmount the camera or turn it upside down. Back in the 5D Mark II Mark III days, we paid top money for an extra LCD viewfinder. This one here already comes with the camera, is easily mountable and absolutely optional because the back screen is so bright that you can even see it in full sunlight. And look at that, the X-C10 even has a built-in headphone jack, which is very important because that's the only way to guarantee that the signal path is clean and that the audio coming into the camera is exactly the way we want it to be. Its Wi-Fi remote is another superb functionality of the X-C10 never seen before. You just connect to the Wi-Fi of the camera, then you access an IP address in your whatever browser on whatever device, completely app independent, and then you have full manual control over the camera. I repeat that now, it's completely application independent as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection and a modern web browser on your device, it works. Even though the Canon X-C10 has a fixed lens, don't worry, there are still ways to spend your money on optical accessories. Plain to see this is an ultra wide angle shot that I achieved by putting a Canon wide angle converter in front of the camera's fixed lens. I'm also using that sometimes for interviews to get a bit more bouquet in the background. This interview shot in particular was done by feeding the clean 10-bit 422 HDMI out of the X-C10 into an external recorder and recording it as ProRes HQ in the Atomos Shogun. 
So all in all, at least for me, the XC10 is a marvelous tool and in my opinion, one of the best and most sophisticated small lightweight cameras that came out in the last couple of years. A true Mini C300. Uh, you can see my Mini C300 configuration here, by the way, with a small rig handle, a DXA Micro Pro as audio preamp, video micro by Rode, a Sennheiser RF and an Aladdin headlight. I hope you could enjoy this little feature about the XC10. Thank you very much for listening and have the best day ever.